What's good, good ass squad? Welcome, Welcome back to a new vlog, vlog today. We are trying Filipino food for the very first time and I am so excited. I have a couple of Filipino friends and they always rave about how good their Which food is. Which is crazy because like three of her best friends are Filipino like she just said <laughs> and she's never had this food never. before. Like did they never take you? Like they just don't care? They just don't love me I guess. Right. But listen, we're starting off this video on a sad note because oh. what happened? So we got appetizer entree and desserts and we had also ordered a drink to kind of try a little bit of everything we got the calamansi juice huh? but they forgot to give it to us at the restaurant Bruh. they literally ordered it and everything i was so excited guess we don't get to try it today that is fun because we got a ton of other things that smell amazing we haven't yeah. opened anything so it's gonna be our first time looking at everything with you guys so All what right. should we start with that we over gotta there? start with the appetizer right. so we are gonna start with the lumpia this is like a classic Filipino appetizer. Aren't these just like egg rolls kind of? They kind of look like egg rolls. So this Similar. is veggie lumpia. The restaurant didn't have like any chicken or pork or anything. Oh. So we're just trying the veggie lumpia with some, I'm assuming, sweet and sour sauce. Yes. Mm. You're going right in without me? Mm. Oh. Mm, hurry up there, fire. <laughs> Bruh. Oh my God. Mmm. Hold on. These are kind of like an egg roll. I feel like I've had something very similar to this, but I love how crispy but soft it is. Mmm. This is so good. <laughs> Fun fact, we're starving. So everything is gonna taste perfect timing. 10 times better. I gotta go in for seconds. Oh my god. We literally ate all of them. We should have got two orders of this. Mm. Mm. The flavors are melting on my tongue. I might rate this a perfect 10. Honestly, same. If the rest of this food is as good as that. <laughs> We're going to the Philippines. <laughs> Literally, and I'm gonna be mad for living 24 years of my life and not trying this food. Next up, we got the chicken adobo. Alright, let's dig in to this chicken adobo. Oh my. This looks fire. Oh my god, it's like, it like <laughs> rips apart so easily. Nice and That's tight. how you know it's good. Hold on. Oh my god. Bro, this thing tears so easily. Oh mm. my god. Oh my god, this is so good. Bruh. Guys, I'm not even exaggerating. This is so good. My mom makes a chicken very similar to this. Has my mom been making me Filipino chicken this whole time? Yep. So cute. And I didn't know. Usually when we do food reviews, I only want to take a couple bites to save space for the other stuff. I'm not even joking, guys. I want to finish this plate of food. <laughs> like, this is fire. This? 10? Yes. Damn. <laughs> Moving on <laughs> to an even bigger box. We got... Mm. So this is the balmy noodles. We got a little lemon in here. Look at these noodles, guys. They're like clear. I don't even know how to explain it. Oh my God. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> no, like for real. Mm, I like Filipinos the are so lucky. Ah! Like what? Mm. This taste, like... A healthy version of the cup of noodles. Bruh. Wow. No, this is actually so good. This is really Guys, good. Too. I'm kind of picky. Like, I'm being honest, I'm kind of picky, but this. It's all hidden in the spot. Well, it's all hidden. Oh my goodness. <laughs> You're slurping that, babe. <laughs> I got the finger, bro. <laughs> the texture of these is so different than like any other noodle I've ever had. And it looks like it's mixed with two different kinds of noodles. Yeah. Because I see like a, yeah. like a thicker one. We got like the one. regular chow mein mm -hmm. style noodle and then the thin clear ones. Mm. So it looks like we got green beans, carrots, red onions, chicken. What else is in here? Like lettuce. Mm. Bro. Fire. And it kind of has that like lemony. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say taste. that too. This is fire. Bro, no, like this is actually so good. Holy. I think we should have ordered more food. Now I want to go back and try the whole menu. Bruh. We're only getting a little taste. I just remembered. <laughs> we were supposed to be doing like a little Q&A while eating, but we were so hungry and the food was so good and we got so into the food that we both completely forgot. Like this is just fully mm. us eating and enjoying this oh delicious God. food. We've obviously done food reviews in the past and like most of the time the food is good, 
but it's not like, oh my God, I'm gonna go back for this and I'm gonna go out of my way to go get this. Yep. But I think this spot is gonna be a new spot for us. Yeah, and we had to drive 20 minutes for it. Like, I would not even mind driving for oh that. Oh my God, no, like, actually though. Oh my God, okay, we gotta, we gotta move on to the next one. We, we got one. <laughs> I think this is my favorite so far. Really? Okay, I give this one, I give this one a nine. It's not the perfect 10 like the chicken and rice were for me and the lumpia. I give this a 10. Damn, babe. Mm. I think we need to plan a trip to the Philippines. Low key, <laughs> box number three. We got Lechon Kawali. Check this oh out, my. guys. Oh my God. This is oh gonna hit the spot because God. I'm Cuban. We love Lechon in Cuba. I'm so down. We gotta dig into this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. Mmm. That's literally a chicharron. Like, mm -hmm. I'm so used to these. Mmm. Wait, you gotta try it with the sauce though. Oh my god. Sauce going in. Mmm, interesting. This is it like I've gravy? never like really smoked that before. Mmm. Hey, Loki tastes like teriyaki. Hmm? Not teriyaki. Um, gravy? katsu sauce. Oh, this is like their take on chicken katsu. Mm. This is a Filipino chicken katsu. Mm. Is gas, mm. Right? Doesn't it taste like katsu sauce a little bit? Oh my god! Like a small hint of it? I have no words right now. I have no words. I want to cry because I've gone so long without trying this amazing food. <laughs> Are you kidding me? And they got the banana leaf under. Damn. What's your rating? Damn. <laughs> 10? I give this a 10. That sauce was fire. The crispiness and still softness of the lechon. That's fire. Chef's kiss. I think I'm gonna give it like an eight and a half. Just because yeah. for me, it's a little heavy. Like this is like fried. He doesn't like fat oily almost. stuff. Yeah, it's very oily. Me though? But it's good though, nonetheless. Okay, now for the first dessert, we're gonna try cassava cake and if i'm not mistaken i'm pretty sure cassava is kind of like a potato and in my country we call it yuca mm. but we don't use it for desserts we use it with like garlic and stuff as a side dish so i'm excited to try this all right let's try this bad boy oh it's thick oh it's like it's a jelly really almost oh i like this consistency already mm. interesting it was coconut. It's coconut. Mm-hmm. Mm, and it's warmed up. Is it supposed to be warm? Yeah. Mmm. Yo, I kind of like good. this. It's good. It's actually really good. Mmm. I love the coconut taste and the texture, how like, I don't even know how to explain the texture. It's like hard and soft, like creamy. Yeah, we've been missing out for real. Mm-hmm. I'm surprised you like it this much because it's not the sweetest thing in the world. Mm -hmm. It's like that perfect sweetness. Mm-hmm. That's what I was thinking too. But you guys what? know Andrea, if it doesn't have a bag of sugar in it. Okay, we got one more. We got Halo Halo. So this has a whole bunch of stuff in it. I gotta look up the description because it's literally got like 10 ingredients. The Halo Halo is shaved ice, jackfruit, coconut meat, a combination of selected sweetened banana, sweet potato, beans, purple yam, flan, and ube ice cream on top? Hold up, bruh. I know. All beans? that sounded good, but beans? <laughs> bruh. How is beans a dessert? So let's start with the ube ice cream because I actually have tried ube before, and so have you, right? Yeah. We had ube pancakes in Hawaii, and they were so good. So I'm excited. It did melt a little bit on the car ride home. Yeah, it's Because okay, it is okay. like 85 out, but... Ready, ready? Ah. Mmm. Ube. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, that's so good. That's fire. And look at how pretty this color is. Like, oh just the god. color already makes me so happy. All right, I got a slice of flan. And then we have some shaved ice. I see the beans and I'm scared. Wait, I see the beans. Yeah, I don't know what. There's beans. I don't know about that, boss. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a little bit of ice cream with my bean. I don't like beans. 
This is like jelly, huh? Ooh, wait, um, try that. Okay. Mmm. Was it good? I think it is jelly. I don't know what this is. A green bean? <laughs> I have no idea. What's your rating? I'm gonna keep it real with you guys. That was not my favorite. Bruh. Just If I could just have the ube ice cream and not everything else, it would be a 10. The ube ice cream itself was a 10. Everything else, not for me. I'm gonna give it like a five. Really, a yeah, five? a five. I'm being harsh on that one. I would give it like a seven. A seven, okay. All right guys, that was everything for today. Yeah, and we're still gonna go back and finish all that food because oh my God, it was so good. I think my personal favorite was probably the chicken adobo. Oof, that was yeah. fire. And you? Probably the noodles. The noodles, the noodles. okay. I know you're gonna go grab those I'm ones. I'm gonna go slip those up. <laughs> With that being said, Thank you guys for watching. Shout out to all the Filipinos out there. And we'll, and we'll catch, catch you guys, guys in the next one. Peace.